Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Wherever you are, remember you have greatness inside of you. Welcome back to another Ab Daily News with the hockey coach, Guru Kofi Fenshi. Today, episode number 330. What a minute, coach. First of all, guys, the Montreal Canadian news and update following by the NHL headlines. Finally, of course, I'm back with another proposal trade for the Montreal Canadian rumor. But before we start, guys, we invite like you. Don't forget to click on the like, subscribe to the Hockey Nation show, and leave us a comment about this episode. And let's dive in talking about my first subject of the day. My first subject, guys, about the Montreal Canadian news. As we want to mention to you, the Montreal Canadiens are not going to offer a contract for three different players play with the Montreal Canadiens last season. I'm talking about Jonathan Drouin, Alex Belzil, and Denis Kurianov. Yesterday, we talked about Belzil and Kurianov. We know Montreal would love to sign Kurianov at lower cost, but this is the end between the Jonathan Drouin and the Montreal Canadiens. My next news, guys, about what to do with the fifth overall pick for the Montreal Canadiens. Do you keep it? Do you move up or do you move down? We know we have five fun players. Mitch Cobb, Smith, Carlson, Fantilli, and Bedard are going to be the top five players in NHL prospect draft 2023. At the position number fifth, it's Montreal. He's going to have one of the five names I just mentioned to you. Look like Mitch Cobb is going to be still on the board when the Montreal Canadiens are going to select. The key here is do you think the Montreal Canadiens are going to select Mitch Cobb or not? Last year, Montreal Canadiens was supposed to draft Shane Wright. Obviously, it turned around. Montreal Canadiens jumped on Uri Sakaski. Can can use does exactly the same thing where everybody thinking he's going to get Mitch Cobb, but at the end, it may be looking more for Rand Leonard, David Rimbacher, Zach Benson, or any other players on the board. Or do you feel like Montreal could move up, trade with Anaheim or the St. Jose Sharks? Or do you feel Montreal Canadiens could move down if any other team would love to get Mitch Cobb at the fifth overall pick 2023? I feel sometimes I would love Montreal get Mitch Cobb. Sometimes I'm a little bit worried about Mitch Cobb. But at the end of the day, Montreal cannot make a mistake. This is the reason I make this news today. Montreal have to select the best player on the board. We'll see what's happening. Finally, guys, I'll have to one more things to do with Pierre-Luc Dubois. Again, yes. First of all, the New Jersey Devils signed Jesper Pratt, eight years contract at $7.8 million AAV per season. Pratt and Dubois start their career in NHL. So what I did, I went a bit more deeper and compared their stats. Here what I have for you guys about both players. First of all, over my head is Jasper Pratt, and beside me is Pierre Dubois. Both of them start in season 2017, 2018, and they are both now at 24 years old. Now, both of them are RFA. Now, I decide to look about their season, and you can see easily Pierre Dubois have a better start of his career versus Pratt. But the last two years, that's why I'm really focusing for both players. Pratt played 158 games. He has 58 goals, 88 assists for a total of 146 points. Pierre Luc Dubois played 154 games, 55 goals, 68 assists, 123 points. If you calculate all their season in the NHL, Pierre Luc Dubois a little bit slightly advantage over Pratt because uh, he played 45 games more compared to just with Pratt. But my point here, guys, is about Pierre Dubois won a contract at $9 million. I feel like he's not deserved to get that kind of money as a hockey player yet. I'm not sure what Montreal Canadiens are going to do. We know the Los Angeles King right now and are the front runner to get Pierre Dubois. At the end of the day, guys, I will just want to compare Pierre Dubois. The reason what I feel he does not deserve to get $9 million. I would like to hear from you guys. Let me know what you think about my first subject, how I compare Brad to Dubois. And of course, what do you do with a fifth overall pick with Mitch Cobb or not? Or do you feel they should move up or move down? Or keep the fifth overall pick? That's what I would like to hear from you guys about my first subject. But now let's move on for my second subject of the day. Second subject of the day, guys, is very quick one. It's about the NHL headline I have for you because we have a lot of news around the league yesterday. First of all, the Pittsburgh Penguins hire for assistant general manager at Carl Dubas. Yes, his buddy, Jason Spencer. Then we know already the New Jersey Devils signed the RFA Jasper Pratt eight years at 
$7.8 million AAV per year. Following by the Philadelphia Flyers announced hiring two ex-NHL players. First of all, John Leclerc played with the Montreal Canadiens and the Flyers as an advisor to the team. And finally, they hired Patrick Shark are going to do something similar for the Flyers. We know both of them are very close with Keith John and Daniel Bria. And finally, the Calgary Flame hire Jerome Igela as a special advisor to the general manager at Craig Conroy. They are right now the biggest high lines in NHL in the last 24 hours. I would like to hear from you guys. Leave me a comment about my NHL headlines and let's move on now for my last subject of the day. Oh, we are back for another Montreal Canadian rumor. Today, coach is go a little bit deeper. What are you talking about? Uh, guys, if the Montreal Canadian are not going to select Mitch Carl, Montreal maybe should move up. We know some kind of rumor with Anaheim Docs. I feel it's not right. So what I decide to do, guys, I go different ways. I go with the San Jose Shock. I call the San Jose Sharks, and we know already the Sharks are maybe not retools, but more rebuilding at some point. So what they need is picks and prospects. This year, they have not many picks at the top round number one, two, second, or third. They have many picks at the end of this NHL Draft 2023. So I decided to do, you know what? Possible Montreal Canadian could help the San Jose Sharks. Now, what I did, guys, I offered to... St. Jose Sharks, this deal. Uh, we trade their fifth overall pick, and now St. Jose Sharks get the fifth overall pick for the Montreal Canadiens, plus the 31 overall pick for the NHL Draft 2023, and the Montreal in return get only the fourth overall pick. With that waste, the Montreal Canadiens are going to select maybe Will Smith, maybe Carlson, maybe Fantini, and go to skip over Mitch Cobb, would you like to do that? Do you feel comfortable for the Montreal Canadiens to make a trade with the St. Jose Sharks to get the fourth overall pick? I would like to hear from you guys. Let me know what you think about that proposal. Is it good for the Montreal? Is it good for the St. Jose Sharks? If both is good, let's make a deal and see Montreal Canadiens are going to get the fourth overall pick and that advantage, of course, the St. Jose Sharks to get maybe Mitch Cobb and, of course, another extra pick that will give them three overall pick uh, first round for the upcoming draft 2023 and that's conclude guys all the subject we have on this episode hopefully you enjoyed episode 330 of the ab daily news but before we leave guys we want to remind you don't forget to click on the like subscribe to the Arcanine show and leave me a comments about this episode and of course you and you and you we wish you an amazing great blessing day and you have greatness inside of you 